Let's take a look at the new checklists and smart chips in Google Docs. First, we'll create a new Google Doc by using docs.new shortcut. We'll add a checklist first, and that's going to be the option in the toolbar that looks like check marks. If your screen is small and you don't see it, click the three dots and then you can click this to turn the checklist on. Then just start typing your items. And if you want to cross something off, you can click it and it will be crossed off. Click it again and crossed off. Smart chips are another relatively new feature in Google Docs. To use the smart chip, type the at sign and then you'll see a pop up with suggestions of things you might want to include. You can include a person, for example, and you'll do that by again clicking the at sign and then clicking on one of the options in this list here. And then it turns into this kind of gray button. The cool thing about smart chips is you can hover over them for more options. So for a contact, you can click in to see more information or to edit or add that person to your contacts. And on the bottom, there's a bunch of tools to interact with them. Send an email, a message, start a video call, or schedule an event with them right from this Google Doc. You can also work with events through smart chips. So typing the at sign and then you can either type a date or choose something from the dates option or choose a calendar event. So if you start typing something also, this is going to give you suggestions that match what you're typing. So if you have a specific event, you can click on that from the list here and it will add a chip for that. With events, you can hover over the event to see more information about you know, when this event is and you can click on the title to jump right to the event and calendar. If you type a date, so you can do something like tomorrow for example, when you click on a date that's not already an event, when you hover over it, it gives you the option to book the meeting right from here and it also tells you how far to that date. This one's tomorrow, but if I choose a date that's in the, the future, if I choose September 1st, 2021, when I hover over that smart chip, it's going to tell me how far that is. So that's six weeks away. It's kind of a nice visual clue there. And as a quick tip, you can click on the gear here to change the default way that these smart chip dates will display in your calendar. Finally, the other thing you can do with smart chips now is documents. So if I want to link to a document here, like a slideshow for example, again I can start typing to find the one I want and when I click on it, it's going to add a smart chip for that. When I hover over a smart chip to a document, I will see kind of a quick little preview of the file, information about who owns it and if there were changes recently. In the case of slides and docs right now, you also have the option to click on open preview and open that file right within the doc you're working on now. And I can open that out in a full tab now, copy it and share it with somebody or close that. This function also works for Google Docs where I'll see the option to open a preview. But right now when you add a smart chip to a Google Sheet or a PDF, for example, you'll see this small preview of the file in the sheet, but you won't be able to click and open that preview in the doc yet. You'll just see the small option, the name, the owner, and if there are recent changes. These tools are a really great way to make your documents more dynamic. So they can be kind of the home base for much more now. And stay tuned for more features as a part of Google's Smart Canvas. And there's a link in the chat where you can learn more about what they seek Smart Canvas going. And you can even watch some videos in here about kind of the direction these features are heading. But take a look at Smart Chips and Checklists.